The story of India's Tejas MK2 fighter jet is one of ambition, innovation, and timing. Three years ago, during Defence Expo 2022 in Gandhi Nagar, Dr. V. Madhusudana Rao, who leads the Light Combat Aircraft MK2 project at the Aeronautical Development Agency, hinted that several countries were quietly showing interest in this advanced Indian-made fighter. Back then, a handful of nations, perhaps around four or five, were keeping tabs on the program through their embassies in New Delhi. Now that number has tripled to 16, signaling that what was once just a promising defense project has become a magnet for global attention, the Tejas MK2 is designed as a more powerful and versatile version of the earlier Tejas MK1A, while the MK1A is a light fighter built mainly for quick missions, the MK2 fits squarely into the medium-weight fighter category, capable of handling a wider range of roles including air combat, ground attacks, and maritime missions, it weighs about 17.5 tons and can carry nearly 6,500 kilograms of weapons and fuel, this version uses the General Electric F414 engine, giving it a thrust of roughly 1,100 kilowatts, the aircraft also features a modern active electronically scan array radar for superior targeting, a digital fly-by-wire system for advanced control, and modular avionics that can be updated easily. What makes the MK2 stand out is how much of it comes from within India. About 59% of the parts and systems are made domestically. This not only highlights India's growing technological self-reliance but also keeps costs relatively low. The MK2 is expected to be priced around 50 to 60 million dollars per unit, which is a bargain when compared to other jets in its class like the Gripen E or French Rafale, each costing roughly twice as much. The combination of performance and affordability is why so many countries, especially in Southeast Asia and Latin America, are exploring deals. These regions are seeking reliable, modern aircraft but cannot afford the sky-high prices of Western jets like the F-35 around the world. Nations are facing a similar challenge. Their older fighter jets are nearing retirement and need replacements that balance capability with cost. In places like Argentina and Brazil, legacy models such as the Super E-Tendered and F-5 are outdated. Likewise, Southeast Asian Air Forces are gradually phasing out Mirage 2000. The Tejas MK2 offers a timely solution, a jet that can deliver advanced features, like long-range targeting, anti-ship strikes using BrahMos missiles, and efficient operational maintenance without draining defense budgets, Dr. Rao had predicted that this aircraft would be export-ready even before its first prototype was completed. At Defense Expo 2022, he mentioned that numerous foreign delegations were eager to learn about its technical systems, such as digital combat controls and networked warfare capabilities. His confidence wasn't misplaced, the MK2 upcoming prototype rollout by the end of this year and its first flight scheduled for mid-2026 show how quickly the program has advanced. More importantly, Indian Air Force has already placed a commitment for 120 MK2 jets, setting clear production goals up to 2035. This domestic order acts as a strong foundation for the project, ensuring stability for the supply chain and signaling to other countries that India stands behind the aircraft. With initial production of the MK1A already begin and plans for 83 of those jets to be completed by 2028 to 29, the MK2 production line will be ready for full scale manufacturing by 2029. By 2034, the goal is to have 120 Tejas MK2 fighters delivered and operational. In essence, India's MK2 program marks the country's confidence stride into the global fighter market. It breaches the gap between light and heavy fighter classes, proving that advanced technology, cost effectiveness, and strategic design can come together to create something the entire world is now watching very closely.